Good morning, good morning. It's a lovely Sunday here in Sweden. It's a very cloudy, cloudy actually Sunday, but it can be a lovely one even so. And for those of you who don't know, this is pretty much the weather for the most part of the year here in, in Sweden, at least in Gothenburg. But enough about, enough talk about my homeland. Let's talk about Elixir versus Java. And when do I think that one makes more sense than the other? Now, I'll give you a bit of background. First and foremost, I will base all of what I'm saying right now on two things. And that is for the most part, like my develop personal development experience with working with each of these languages. And just as a disclaimer, I have run a few Java products in production, like professionally. And I have never unfortunately had the opportunity to run an Elixir application at a larger scale. So bear that in mind. So I'm not an, a, an Elixir master, anything like that. I'm fairly familiar with it and I absolutely love the language, which I'm, you, I may have communicated in a previous video. Anywho, let's get down to it. So first, first and foremost, What's great about Java? Well, if you watched any of my other things, uh, other videos where I talk about Java, you will probably remember that my favorite thing about Java is the type system and how very easy, in my opinion, it's very easy to deploy a Java application. You create your jar files or war or ear files. Like they got that down really, really well. I actually think that when it comes to simplicity, robustness, and creating something that is supposed to stand the test of time, Java is one of the best languages that you can pick. C Sharp is up there as well, but they're very similar. But that's the way, the way I feel about it. Like it's to me, I can really see why for so long Java has been the go-to language for enterprise and how 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 it came to be that so many big companies use it as a platform for developing their application because it like it it very naturally the object oriented approach very naturally maps out into a very nice domain now there are of course problems i mean there's always a trade off and you will learn that very quickly as you progress through your career as a developer that you know no, no there's nothing nothing that is just good like there's always a trade-off, there's always something, right? But these are the things that I really like about Java. Now, up next comes Elixir. So if we're talking about Elixir, what is, you know, my favorite thing about that? Well, I would say that the best thing about Elixir, apart from it being one of my absolute favorite programming languages in the world, is that it is, well, it's a function, basically it's a functional language and it has been built, like the syntax is pretty, pretty damn great. It has, like there's, I could rant on about Elixir. You have things such pat pattern matching, message dispatching between each module. You have Mixp, which is like one of the best build tools that like it's it's really great generating your own project it's very very easy to get started and all of these benefits i completely credit to the genius ruby community now i've never been a ruby guy i'm never going to be a ruby guy i have learned enough ruby to say that hey i can kind of figure out how it works because i like to study languages regardless of if i'm going to use them or not and i have to say that i can really see how much heart has gone into the to Elixir? A really great language. It, development experience and for technical solutions are, you know, on par with each other on this one. So all the usual things that you hear about Ruby being slow and all that stuff, yeah, that's not true for Elixir. And that has largely to do that it's built on the Erlang engine which is just amazing. So when it comes to having Elixir, you have things as process monitoring, which I think is absolutely great. And that is basically the idea that you can actually kill a process. Like the, it's, I, I, I don't want to make this an entire talk about Elixir because you can go and read about it. But basically the idea is that Elixir 
doesn't really like the way that it's structured you don't actually have to think so much about something crashing because if you structure things correctly a process can die and then immediately be spun up afterwards and basically be restarted so the robustness of elixir is actually i think it's unparalleled and it's not fair to say it's elixir because it's not really elixir it's airlang and airlang has been doing this for a long time it's actually funny that between i usually say that java is the way to go you know when you want something to run forever and always be solid but actually now take this with a pinch of salt because i've never tried to run for that you know a long running application in elixir or airlang for that matter but may i i think that erlang or elixir might actually be the like something that that's the first language i've actually thought about that can beat java in terms of uptime and in, in terms of stability and robustness over time it's actually fine it's just now that i'm talking to you guys about it where i actually realized that for it, I, my strongest argument has, for Java has always been like that robustness and stability, but I think that maybe Elixir is even more stable. The thing is that if you have to pick between the two, I think that it comes down really to being a bit of an adventurer. I actually think that that's, that's the case. If you are a functional person, someone like who really enjoys the functional style and thinks it's exciting with new technology and you're, you're passionate enough about what you do and you see the benefits to what the Elixir can offer, then I, sh I highly suggest that you try to lobby for it because we have to, we have to admit, I don't, I don't like to be the person who says this, but we have to admit that there is a value in having a platform that is stable such as java and so forth there is absolutely a value and there's always a risk i don't think it is it's a big risk and i don't think it should be a, something that stops us from innovating but there is a risk with taking something a little bit less stable such as elixir that is still you know kind of finding its place in the world like node used to do and to some degree so it still is and the thing is that if you want the stability and you want this you know, like really truly powerful system that never goes down then elixir should be your first choice but the trade-off is as i say if you are let's say that you are an object-oriented person you've been working in java for your entire life and uh, you don't really have this deep-rooted passion or need to try out this, these new technologies then i don't really see a reason why you would go with elixir over java it's uh, it's a really tricky thing. I, I would if if I'm going to leave you with anything, I would say that Elixir doesn't have strict typing. That is a minus. You can actually get around that very easily, I think. But strict typing, once again, if that's a hard requirement for you, you should absolutely stay with Java. And if b both of these languages are extremely good when it comes to stability and uptime and so forth, so switch, picking between them in my opinion comes down to a decision between stable object oriented programming such as you find in java versus trying out basically a functional approach on things now remember that elixir isn't unproven technology it is as proven in my opinion because of the erlang, erlang legacy as java so it's not a risk to use elixir it really to me comes down to what do you feel most comfortable working with because you should know that if you that if you go with elixir and you haven't tried it out before it is very different to work in elixir versus working in java java is closer to like other languages easier in my opinion to learn java than it is to learn elixir but the benefits of working in elixir well i won't say too much because i'm just a fanboy i haven't really had a chance to really try it out but the stuff that i have seen and the stuff that i have built with it are um, absolutely amazing so yeah that's uh, kind of where i'm gonna leave you hope it was useful